All right, everybody, let's move along. Um, so we're, we're kind of working back to the beginning of our definition and then starting to refill it, right, re-infill the definition to get it the way we want to work, right? So I'm, I'm walking you guys through a very real workflow. Like sometimes you'll think that the path that you're going down is the most efficient path or it has the ability to operate the way you want it to operate. Then you get to a point where you realize a mistake, like you rotated it, but the floor plates didn't rotate. And you're like, oh crap, I have to go back now, right? So I'm, I'm giving you guys a very real experience at this. So what we've done is we built that definition and it was kind of long and arduous, but now we're clarifying it. Now I know I've got my building mass here. Um, I also have the floor plates that I'm going to scale. And uh, let me put a surface on that just so you can see it. So I'm going to, I have that, right? So I'm going to use this as a floor plate that extrudes up that I'm going to cut off with that volume. Um, so let's start working on that. What, uh, what's good is we have the floor plates that we're going to generate right here. That's our series of numbers. It starts at 30, goes to 45, goes to 60, goes to 75, right? Um, so when I want to, um, actually I could just go back and redo what we did before. Transform. Euclidean, we're going to go to move, and I'm going to use um, under vector, vector, unit Z. So what I'm going to move is the surface, and the Z movements I'm going to make are the series. That's that. Pretty simple so far, right? Um, so really what we've got are the base surface down here and we have these surfaces that we've um, moved or copied. Um, we can merge those into one list. So I'm going to merge the first one, merge those three, and then I'm going to flatten this list. So when I turn off all this stuff, I'm left with one list of surfaces that is, it, it encompasses all of those floors. So what else do I need to do if I'm still going to use these? Well, actually, let's, yeah. If I'm going to use the floors to test, right? So I need to cut them, and then I need to analyze them. So what do I need to do right now? Huh? Before I cut it. Because I have too many surfaces. I'm not analyzing the root. Uh, subtract. So, I mean, ultimately, I could I could actually do this. I could copy and paste that and just shove that into. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do it that way. Um, yeah. Well, I want to remove that last item. So, I'll go to. It depends where you want to do it. You could actually do it anyway. You could do it on the series and then only extrude three items, or you could do it at the end and just get rid of the object. Sometimes I like to just do it at the end in case I need the geometry later. So I'm going to do what we did before. I'm going to go to partition list. So set list. I'm going to go to partition. That's the list I'm going to partition. The size of the partition is going to be however many surfaces there are, minus one. Um, so let's go to um, list, list length. I'm going to measure that. And then that gives me a value of 5. And I'm going to subtract 1 from that. So math, operators, subtraction. And a panel of 1. Plug that in. So now I've got a list of 4 and a list of 1. And what tool do I need? which is explode tree. So set tree, explode tree. Plug that in and you get your two separate surfaces. I'm going to turn all this stuff off again. And then when I go to params and surface and I plug it into the first list, I have only those. Okay. So there I have the first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. I do not have a roof surface. 
um, and it was all built off of this definition. So let me clean it up a little. I'll let you guys get caught up. Um, but while I'm doing that, what questions do you have? None. Again. So this is what I did, guys. Remember, I had my series. I moved the plates to go up because I made them surfaces, and I moved them, so I had too many. I merged all those lists together um, so that I had my one master list of all the surfaces, and then I subtracted the last surface, which was the roof, using partition list. And then with explode tree, I left that partitioned last surface. I just kind of left it there. It got separated into this list, and I only took the top one. So when you just when you brought up the partition node, it automatically moved to separate the top. Um, the partition list? Yeah. It didn't automatically. No, I told it to with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it works by index values. So if there are five index values, floor, uh, middle floors, and then roof, and I say I want to partition the list, and I say there are five items, minus one is four, so I get rid of that, and then I'm left with the other. Okay, so what I've got here, just a heads up, um, I'm gonna make this sort of my finalized item, so I'm gonna call this floor plates. <laughs> 